The extension to uh, May 28th is not an extension of stay home, stay safe. It's an extension of the emergency declaration. Um, those are two different things. Correct. And it's okay. Um, it, it, people conflate the two all the time. Um, it can be a, a little bit confusing. Um, so I'm just going to take a second to outline the difference between those two things because I think it's incredibly important for folks to understand what that difference is. Um, so stay home, stay safe is the order that we're currently under, right? So um, you shouldn't be leaving your uh, personal dwelling for anything other than um, essential goods or if you have ordered something for contactless delivery from or contactless pickup or delivery from um, any establishment that's offering that right now. Um, however, the state of emergency doesn't have anything to do with you having to stay in your home. The state of emergency is what is important for us to be able to do uh, what we can to draw down federal dollars to have us address the crisis, right? So um, those are your tax dollars you've already paid in your federal taxes that we need to be able to access as a state in order to um, get PPE to our fire departments and our first responders, um, also to pay hazard pay to those folks. And the concern that I had uh, when there was debate about not extending the state of emergency was uh, many other states around the country have already extended their states of emergency, which means that they're drawing from that same pot of money that we already are. So if we give up on that, if we say no thank you, where are we going to get the money from? Right? We've already paid those taxes to the feds. That's our money that we should be, be, be able to draw from. 